So I just wanted to show you all how I've used documentation to help me solve bugs faster and learn code in a much smoother manner. You know, we're taught to Google things. We're taught to, you know, watch tutorials and build projects. But especially in the self-taught community, from what I've experienced, we're not really told either how to use documentation or even told to use documentation. But it's such a big part and aspect of coding because documentation is everywhere and utilizing them to our advantage is quite important. So first things first, right? What is documentation? Well, when you download a library, maybe like it's a design library like Tailwind CSS or Shad CN, which is like, you know, a library for designing things with Next.js, they give us the code, they give us everything here, but when we need to use them, you know, sometimes you run into errors or we don't really know what's going on. So for example here, right, I have this uh, coaching section of the platform I'm building and I'm trying to build a testimonials page. And over here, right, I want it so that this is by itself and when we click this, this other page appears, right? But right now it's stuck like this. What a lot of coders would do, and myself included, is instead of reading the documentation, which has all the answers for us and we'll cover how I do it, they say, oh, I'm lost. Let's, I don't know, watch a tutorial, okay? Did I even spell tutorial? Watch a tutorial, there we go. And so, let's make the swipe. And so what happens is that they watch the tutorial and it takes one to two hours to get the answers. And again, I'm all for tutorials. There are some amazing YouTubers online, like amazing. And I use tutorials every day. Well, not every day, but you know what I mean? Like I use it a lot. And I still think it's a massive form of advantage. However, for small things and for honestly, a lot of things, utilizing the documentation not only helps you in your specific way, it's faster and you learn much more because you're applying it in your own way, okay? So instead of this, what we want to do is when we do run into an error like we are right now, instead, guys, we read the docs, okay? So whatever you're running into, maybe it's something in a JavaScript thing or whatever it may be, um, look at the documentation. Maybe it's an XJS bug you're running into or something like this where you're using ShadCN library and you're running into this error. So for us, right, I'm going to walk you through how I've been doing it, okay? So I'm going to make you a little smaller over here. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to solve this error right here. Instead of going to YouTube, spending an hour seeing how it's done, we can solve it using their documentation, right? And over here, they have a bunch of things over here, but they also... They also have the documentation over here, right? And over here, we can see what we need to do to map through everything. So I don't think we need this one exactly. Instead, we can use the documentation down here. Uh, let's see where it is. So, you know what? For example, this docs right here, right? Now, obviously, this is um, specific to our case, but in the docs section of a lot of pages, you will find whatever you need to find. So in our situation, we went to documentation and we went to the carousel, which we installed uh, previously. So right here, we go to the code section for ShadCN at least. And what we can notice is that what we're doing wrong is this, right? When they're mapping through everything, and I don't expect you to know what's going on here, especially if you're a beginner, but what it's telling us is like for this to have the scroll animation like this, and to go by page, we need to put the carousel item within the mapping. So within the map. So when we map through it, we should map through the carousel item, not put it outside. And right here, what we did wrong is we put it outside as, you know, it's obvious because it's not being clear. So what we need to do then, because we read through the documentation, this is what I went through in the tech startup series. We have to put the carousel item instead within this right so if we just drag this in here put it within this just like that guys and what should happen is if we refresh the page it works you see that guys a simple fix that took us one second to look at and solve that saved us maybe an hour of of work 
just because we read through the documentation. And whether it's Tailwind Docs, right? Or look, documentation, you can do really cool things. Look, dark mode, you can just literally just copy this and put it in your code. Or you can do maybe Next.js documentation or Next authentication documentation. And you can literally have everything you need in these things. You can look through it, see, oh, this is what it means. This is what it means. And then utilize it in your own application, guys. So instead of spending these hours and hours and hours hoping that you can maybe find something in a tutorial or something like that, instead rely on your instincts and go to the documentation, read through it, understand what's going on. I know it's in intimidating at first. Maybe you were a little bit lost about, you know, what I was doing and like confused about the code, but don't worry about the code itself. Go through the documentation, try your best to understand it. And of course, if you're lost, maybe look at a YouTube video. That's not what I'm against. You know, I still do that if I'm truly lost, but by reading through the docs carefully and just trying to understand it on your own, you save yourself so much time in the future. Be you become a much better developer because you're a better problem solver and you understand the code through and through. And because you read through it, maybe like you went through the chat CM thing, you will understand fully how to utilize a tool. You know, there are some times where I've been using a, a framework for a couple of months and I read the documentation and I'm like, I've been using this wrong and there's so much more to it than what I thought. And by reading the documentation, it helps me understand that and gets me through a lot of it. And so what I want you to do is just read through your docs, okay? When you are coding and you want to add something, look it up, but also read through the documentation. This is so underrated, I can't explain it. It's so underrated. So uh, I've seen a lot of developers on YouTube uh, talk about this, um, especially like the bigger ones, at least the top engineers and, and you know, trying to learn from them, they all say that. All the top engineers on Twitter, YouTube, uh, which are not obviously credible, but the credible ones that are on there, you could say, they always say, read the documentation, go through it, understand what you're doing so that in the future, when you do run into these same problems, you know where to look, you know where the answers are, and you remember it more because you read through it. I don't know how to explain it, it's just how it is. So the results, guys, of reading the docs is this faster coding because you're going to get the results faster and you're going to get your answers and let's copy this guys as well as better coder you become a better coder as a result of reading the documentation because you're utilizing the code better guys that's what i'm trying to say okay and i, I know it's a pain in the ass because you have to read through something and you have to do the work but that's coding that's coding i added this really sick feature on my app because I read through the docs and I, I did it. So, so can you, okay? I know this, this part doesn't look good right now, but you know, we added a simple feature and it took us, what, a second, okay? So anyways, I'll end the, the uh, video here. Uh, again, I highly appreciate the support and I hope that you, know, you found value in whatever we talked about. Again, um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want coaching and you want fast results uh, as per the testimonials page, then kindly sign up if you want that one-on-one -on -one sort of teaching. But you know what? Like and subscribe. That's all I ask for. And happy coding. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.